Good evening and welcome to Nosey Road. Thanks for joining us. You're with Micron Video. My name's Ron Hoof. Tonight's opponent to the London Broncos. And we'd like to welcome Gary Grianke and his uh, team. Trevor Howard, the administrator. He's a St. Helens lad. Trevor, he comes from St. Helens Junction. And also Dave Rotherham, another lad that uh, was in the A team and he's coaching the academy next uh, season. So that's Gary Grianke, Trevor Howard and Dave Rotherham and uh, the London Broncos. Anyway, London Broncos are tonight's opponents. The final home league game in the Centenary Championship, which the Pie Eaters have won last night. We finish off uh, at Thrumhall, Halifax next Sunday. And obviously, if we win tonight, and then we've got to win on Sunday to secure third position. I'd like to thank one and all that uh, supporters throughout the season buying and renting our video and hope you'll continue to support us to support us throughout the Super League also I'd like to thank all in the promotions office uh, for an excellent day out we had on uh, Saturday apart from the result of course jammy them pie eaters aren't they but uh, we had an excellent day at uh, Huddersfield it'd have been better obviously if we had a one we made a few mistakes and we was made to pay for it Bobby Golden said we'll be back in more finals and he's right there as well, there's no danger. Anyway, uh, we'll hope uh, for good fortune this evening, but obviously a little bit of uh, controversy going round, plenty of talk round, and I believe that Saints coach Eric Hughes has uh, parted company with the club. More will be revealed, obviously, as time goes by. But there's not many here this evening at Nosey Road. We just await both sets of teams. And here come the Saints. Bobby Golden leads out the Saints. And the match day mascot is Stephen Duckworth. Nine years of age. He's ten years old on the 28th of February. He's a big lad there. He's out with uh, the Saints, his favourite team. His school is suddenly juniors in Egworth. And he's a sensible scouser, isn't he? He comes watching a proper game, the oval-shaped ball. Not like the uh, the round ball, where, uh, which is more popular in Liverpool. Anyway, Steve, as I said, nine years of age. He attends Sudley Juniors in Aigworth. His hobbies are playing rugby, watching the Saints, and playing a rugby league coach on his computer. His favourite players are Apollo, Perellini, Bobby Golding and Joey Hayes. So big day for this young fella, Stephen Duckworth. The Saints side for this evening. Steve Prescott at fullback. Andy Haig, Scott Gibbs, Paul Newlove and Danny Arnold, the three quarters. Carl Hammond and Bobby Gold in the halfback pairing. Apollo Perellini, Kieran Cunningham and Andy Leatham are in the front row. Andy Northy, Simon Booth and Dean Busby, the back three. With Phil Waring, Kevin O'Loughlin, Brian Capewell and Phil Beavers on the bench. The London Broncos side. Dave Evans at fullback. Ikram Butt, Scott Roskill, Leo Denver and Bernard Carroll, the three quarters. Duncan McRae and Kevin Langer, the half-back purring. Tony Mestroff, Tony Ray, Darren Shaw, the front row. Sean Keating, Michael Francis and Steve Rosalind, the back three. With Mark Riley, Russ Borden, Justin Bryant and Paul Stevens on the bench. The Broncos there, centre field. Well, the captain, I should say, Tony Ray. Along with Saints captain Bobby Golding. Your match day mascot, Stephen Duckworth. Broncos in ninth position, Saints in fourth. Looking for the two points to put them back into third position. And there's your match day mascot streaking down to the tunnel end. Stephen Duckworth hurrying down the big day for this young fella. Match day mascot at the final match in uh, the final home match in the Centenary Championship. The referee a change, it's Bob Connolly. Should have been John Connolly. Unfortunately, he got plenty of media attention, did John Connolly. He got picked out for putting his hand up twice and uh, Halifax got seven tackles and they scored on it and they're coming for a little bit of criticism. It's happened before and it'll happen again, but he was just unlucky. But anyway, there we go, and he was just dropped down. Saints get possession from the kickoff. Paul Newlove, try scorer in the Regal Trophy final. Andy Leatham back after a groin injury. Broncos moving up quickly, Saints move it to the right. Tony Ray, the captain in there, along with the prop forward, Darren Shaw. Second row man, Simon Booth. 
Well, Booth in 11. Northey's got 12 on his back. I was just looking at the number then, but I'm just looking Booth over here on our left. Bobby Golden kicks it downfield. Ikram Butt quickly in. Broncos have the possession, Saints pressing up. Quickly in at the tackle. McRae quickly away. Oh, should, should have said Tony Ray quickly away. McRae, Duncan McRae is the uh, standoff half this evening. Last tackle of the sequence. Broncos in possession. There's McRae now, puts it downfield. Prescott comes in for it. Had an excellent game, Steve Prescott, and he breaks through again. Prescott blistering face. 30 yards upfield. Applause from the crowd, as I've said. It's a quite poor crowd here at Nosey Road for this game. Not be a lot of uh, followers from the capital, will there? Today's outing. When we went down there, we set out at uh, half 11, only got back at half two. And they're going to have the same problem, aren't they? Obviously, the game postponed from last Sunday, which would have been better all round for the travelling public, especially the Londoners. Golden drop off ball there to Booth. He can't take it. The Broncos have it. The Broncos move it left. Young McRae, Duncan McRae, just held down short of the halfway line. Tony Ray from acting halfback, scampers away. Good shoulder charge there. As the Saints move in. Kieran Cunningham on his counterpart. Man of the match on Saturday, Kieran. Only the second man on the losing side to win uh, the man of the match award. And the ball kicked downfield. It's going to go touching goal. Is it? It's going to run dead, actually. Looks as though it's going to curl in. Saints bring it away. Broncos moving quickly. Loose forward, Rosalyn. He was quickly in. And Saints breaks away. New love. Rosalyn in again. With prop forward, Shaw. Busby. That's out here, out injured. Joey Hayes out injured. Sullivan injured. Quite a few. That's taken knocks. Sees Andy Northy in the second row. And he'll give a good account of himself, Will Northy. Bobby Golden shimmying, bobbing, weaving, looking to carve a hole in the London uh, defence. Last sequence of this set of six. Hammond puts boot to ball and finds touch on the far side. Bernard Carroll lets it bounce into touch. Scrum down 20 metres in and on the 20 metre line. <laughs> Broncos again, try and build up. Nearly five minutes gone, no score on the board. Once again, the Broncos bring it on the short side. Shaw, the man in possession. And they brought him down, and Shaw milked it for all he's worth, and he got away with it. The referee moves in quickly. Pushing is the indication, and he just gets a little bit of uh, friendly uh, information from the popular side faithful. Saints this season, they won down at uh, Harlequin's ground when we played London. 50 points to 34. Not bad, 84 points uh, in the game in 80 minutes. Especially after Saints being 12 points to, to nil down early on in the piece. Second row forward, Keating. In the Saints, 20. Broncos running it again. Good running, Michael Francis. Held down five metres short. Ray moves it right. Shaw back again to McRae. McRae's held down. 
for the referee penalising the Saints for moving up offside. Nowhere near. Well, he's, he looks as though he's holding down. He was giving there. I don't know how we can uh, come up with a decision like that. Play was moving over to the right as the Broncos were moving it right. Not interference at all. And then it looks as though he'd gone over and he said that there was an offside on the left. The Saints, uh, the Saints right as they were moving up. But there we go. This is what the man in the middle is paid for. Sometimes, sometimes controversial. And a penalty award. And Broncos with a chance for points. Six and a half minutes gone. Right in front of the sticks. Shouldn't have any problem. Broncos will take the lead by two. They do. Leo Denibert put the points over. Leo Denibert opens the scoring. Nearly seven minutes gone. A penalty goal gives the Broncos a two points to nil lead. The Broncos have to kick off. Golden takes it, slips it to New Love. New Love over the 20. Leatham. Well, we don't know what the feelings are, obviously, in the uh, in the camp with the players. Obviously, with Eric Hughes. Gone now from the Saints club. Whether they've actually announced a, an appointment, we don't know. As Cunningham puts it over to Gibbs. But all will be revealed, won't it, in the press. The press will have it. Be out on the press tonight. Golden chips it. Touches the Broncos player, comes back. It's going to be the turnover. And the Broncos now move it again. Ikram Butt. X of Featherston. Ray. Shaw. Short ball there. Second row man again, Keating, making good headway. McRae gives the dummy, draws the defence in. The Broncos are pressing. The 10 metres from the Saints line. Tony Ray at dummy half. Broncos move it. Kevin Langer, short ball. Mestroff in possession. He's five metres short. The Saints defence going to be tested. Langer, long ball out. Forward pass given, I think. Very unlucky there, the Broncos. Oh, not lining up correctly at the play of the ball is the uh, the indication. Saints physio, Jeanette Smith going over there on the far side. And Saints with the penalty award. And Golden finds touch on the 20. Scott Gibbs scampering away, blind side from the acting half back. Questions going to be asked in the house as well uh, about the uh, Broncos. He's in the press about David Howes, asking about the Broncos sending some of the players home to give them a rest before the Super League. Especially with Saints being fined £10,000 for fielding a weak inside at Wigan. Obviously, if David Owls has asked a question, it saves me mentioning it, but I just thought I'd mention it as well, just as a passing uh, fad. Golden chips it through, Prescott chases it. Dave Evans brings it downfield, good tackle from Hammond round the top. Andy Leatham had already completed it round uh, the legs. Ikram Butt scampering away, Leatham in again, but, uh, but gets the ball away to Roskill. Roscoe brought down by Golden. Well, finally brought down. Golden had stopped him. Prescott comes back. Also, Kieran Cunningham in at the action. McRae. Lofted ball. Denver. Obviously, a few names missing out of the Broncos side. Some rested, some injured. Influential uh, standoff, Ben Walker. Not in tonight's lineup. 
He's certainly a good player on here, youngster. 18 or 19. But it's McRae. Taken down by Busby. Last one of the sequence. Denver tries to chip it through. Right into the hands of the Saints player over there on the far side. Ten minutes gone. Approaching the 11th minute. Broncos in the lead, 2-0. Broncos moving up quickly and uh, the Saints spectators getting the wrath there with the referee, or the referee getting the wrath of the Saints spectators, perhaps I should say, holding down by Tony Ray, the captain and the hooker. Saints have the penalty, fine touch, 10 metres short of the halfway. Paralini. Saints in possession in the Broncos half. Andy Northey was driving it up. Broncos penalised again. Well, it's Ray again. That's on uh, two occasions within the space of a minute. And Bobby Golden's going to have a go for goal. Now, while he's getting ready for goal, I've mentioned in the Owens Corning Box. So I'll well, keep your ears pierced. In the Owens Corning Box, Phil Smalley is the name. I believe, Phil, you're always singing the praises of the pie eaters. And I've added off good authority that you've never been to Central Park. The only live rugby you've seen is here at Nosey Road. And that's because Owen's calling up a box and you're always in because it's free. And the only reason you come here is because it is free. The admission's free and the ale's free. I think you should be ashamed of yourself, Smalley. But anyway, when he goes to the pub, I'll tell you something. I bet he goes to the loo when it's time for him to get his hand in his pocket for get the ale in. So there you are, Phil Smalley in the Owens Corning box. Consider yourself told. Bobby Golden pops the goal over. Sit back on level terms. Two points apiece. Two points apiece after uh, 12 minutes. So Saints will restart. <laughs> A penalty there, the Saints penalised. The ball not going the required distance and Broncos have the possession. They swing it out. Langer there uses the foil and Langer got the tackle. Knock on, Saints capitalise on it. McCray, the man that made a complete hash of that. Busby, up to Newlove, Newlove up the wing, pushes one off, turns it inside to Danny Arnold. He was under a little bit of pressure when he received that ball, Danny Arnold. Quite a lot of Broncos uh, cover right round him. Dean Busby takes the tackle of Mestroff and Keating. Took the Broncos quite a while to get underway this season. Lost about the first four or five matches. Then they beat the mighty lead and they had some good wins since. But just dropped down a bit as of late. A Saint put the ball high. Prescott chases it. Prescott gathers it. Oh, he doesn't. It's had it taken off him by a crumbut. I thought Prescott had it. Broncos have the possession, they bring it on the short side. Keating again. Arnold quickly in there along with Newlove and they tried to wrestle him into touch. Tony Ray at dummy half, on to Darren Shaw. Good driving run. Mestroff now, over the halfway line. Pumping away at the legs, driving them down. The last tackle in this sequence, the Broncos have it. Kevin Langer chips it. Bobby Golding. In the sweeper position, takes the tackle. Langer followed it up. Scrum half on scrum half. Danny Arnold. Oh, jumped up. One to one, good tackling. Cries for a spear tackle, but I think that was a good hard tackle. One to one. Saints move it right. 
Hammond, lovely ball from Hammond. The Saints keep it going. Panolini, Gibbs, Higgs with him. Oh, it's inside. Hammond is the man, I think, that has it. And a superb try as Saints move it through. Quite a few pair of hands. And after 15 minutes, Carl Hammond is the man that puts the first try on the board. Hammond's 10th of the season. Good work there by the Saints as they moved it upfield. Taking up some lovely hands. Busby involved. Slipped it out to Perellini. Perellini drew the defence. Slipped it to Gibbs. Gibbs up the touchline. Turned it back inside. Well, Hayes was... Um, Haig, I should say, was uh, the... But it slipped inside to Carl Hammond, and Hammond took it well and touched down behind the sticks. Golden converts it. Saints are on the way. Edging to the lead. Eight points to two. Great try there by Hammond. Created just inside the, their own half and finished off in good style by Carl Hammond. Bobby Golden tags the extras on. The league's leading goal scorer is Bobby Golden. <laughs> Broncos with the possession. Sheer brilliance there by the Saints as they moved it upfield. Tackling's going to be the name of the game. Keating. Well taken. Finished off by Cunningham. New love the first man in. Langer looks for the gap. Perellini wrapped him up. Leatham there as well. Last one of the sequence. McRae puts it downfield. Is it too deep? Oh, just bounces nice, doesn't it? Only a, a metre or so in field and then into touch. Scrum down. 20 metres in. 10 metres from the Saints line, Saints head and feed. Bobby Golden looking to feed it. The ball comes out of the base of the scrum and Saints drive it up. Valuable metres as the Broncos move up quickly. Saints bring it left, Scott Gibbs. From the right centre three-quarter position. Certainly looked a little high, that. The referee patted his chest. As Steve Rosalind came in. No, the 110% from this guy. Cunningham, blind side. Drive it up. Oh, he got a shot. One for his corner there. Everybody saw it except the touch judge and the referee. As Ikram Butt came in with a, a short, sharp jab. Well, Hay couldn't take the ball as it was kicked over. The referee had allowed play to go on. But my word, Kieran Cunningham catching uh, a short punch there for his trouble from Ikram Butt. And here he comes again. <laughs> Cunningham and Booed in on him. And Kieran will just whisper in his ear. Ray brings it blindside. It's turned inside to Rosalind. He unloads it to Langer. Broncos are spreading it. They're up to the halfway line. More or less on the centre spot. Tony Ray acting half. Moves it left. Mestroff. He's taken down 10 metres inside the Saints half. And it's the last one of this sequence. Broncos player offside there. The second row man. Michael Francis not interfering with play, but he didn't get back. The referee allows play to go on. Broncos kick it deeply downfield. First quarter gone, 20 minutes gone, and the score is eight points to two in Saints' favour. New love. Three round him, two actually bring him down. Shaw and uh, Keating. support, pushes the defence off, still looking for support, he's Andy Norby, great run from this lad, 30 metre burst, up to the 20, Busby, Busby now, turns it back, Danny Arnold, 
the last one of the sequence Saints have the possession it goes to Golding cut out ball Prescott overlap oh, there for the Saints Gibbs falls over Saints have another try on the board great work on the last tackle and Saints extend the lead to 12 points to 2 Well, we think he's going to be brought on. He's on the touchline. There's no actual board being held up. But the game restarts. Broncos don't make the substitution. But they have the possession. Solid work there by Nall. They did the sterling performance. Built up the platform for that try that was finished by Gibbs. Broncos bring it blindside. Shaw taken by Newlove and Leatham. And Leatham back in the fold, and he's one for the future, he's Leatham, there's no danger. Getting these games under his belt, Adam Fogarty still out injured. The ball released, that looked like a knock-on, but the referee waves all on. Roskill, he gets it away to Butt. Butt puts it out to McRae, support from Ray. And good work by the Broncos. They take it down within 10 metres of the Saints line, McRae trying to chip it through. Prescott has it, but Prescott's lost it. The ball's touched down. What's the referee given? Well, Broncos have it, right on the line. Good set, tackling. Bronco player injured, right by the line. Is it Bobby Golden that's gone to him? The referee calling the physio staff on. Both London Broncos and Saints physio staff coming on. A lot of concern. But the Broncos came in there. It was uh, McRae that chipped it through. Gidette Smith treating uh, McRae along with the Broncos physio. It was McRae that chipped it through. Steve Prescott had it. Then he lost it. Then the Broncos got it. And obviously he's caught one as he's gone through. 24 minutes gone. 12 to the score. Saints in the lead. Looks like the captain and the hooker. Ray that's actually got the knock, Tony Ray. The tough these Aussies, they'll take some clog. And I'll tell you something, they'll get some clog this evening if Saints have anything to do with it. 12 points to two the score. Saints want two points tonight to put them back in third position. Then they go to thrum all Halifax on Sunday. And they need another two points to secure that third position with Halifax being in third position before tonight's game it's Tony Ray, he gets up on his feet, he uh, looks a bit uh, dizzy as we can say but he'll be alright Broncos play it Shaw, Shaw ball to Keating, a yard forward the referee picks it up but he's not a well man Tony Ray, he's going to be led off, he'll have to be led off, surely. No, he's coming back into the pack. Can't tie him down, can you? One thing about these rugby players, well, Gary Connolly, uh, a fine example on uh, Saturday, 10 stitches in his lip and still come out. We know we've had him here, they've had the ears hanging off and God knows what hanging off. Go in and get them stitched and they're back on the field, aren't they? Gibbs up the blind side, drives again, shoulder down. Broncos moves up quickly. That looks like Northy going in. Will he take him on? Last one of the sequence. Saints in possession. Move cross field, Bobby Golden. It's shipped through for Prescott. Prescott's chasing it. The fullback comes up with possession, Dave Evans. And now Broncos release it and move it away. Out of their own 20 metre area and out of a little bit of danger. Ikram Butt again, cross field. Newlove brings him down, Butt turns round, slips it out. Scott Roskill. Good play there as uh, Carroll comes in for it. Bernard Carroll, limited touches, then it's fed out to the left. 
Broncos keeping it going. Saints have to get back as Tony Ray comes up. Now it's with Langer. It goes over to the far side. Carroll again. And Scott Gibbs quickly in for the tackle. The Broncos now pressing up again. Good drive from them. In the Saints 20. Langer chips it through. Touch the Saints player. Come back. Saints have the possession. Cunningham scampers away. Cunningham again. Good running from the youngster. And they lead them. Goal in along the line. Simon Booth. Oh, good tackle there. Excellent tackle. Darren Shaw. Goal in again. Running the angle. Shaw to New York. New York and Arnold. Certain try here. Oh, slipped it into Arnold. And that's another four points. Great work by the team. 27 minutes gone and another try on the board. And it's this man, Arnold. Another youngster finding his way in the Saints team and desperately unlucky not to get a place either on the bench or in the starting lineup last Saturday. But great work again, Golden on the last tackle, I think it was again. Brought it over to the popular side, slipped it to Newlow into a big hole. Newlow broke through there and it, the players lining up to the left and right. He slipped it inside to Danny Arnold and he went in unopposed with uh, Ikram Butt trailing in his wake. Great work there, 16 points to two. It's going to be 18-2 now with this goal in goal. 28 minutes gone. 18 points to two, the Saints in the lead after trailing two points to nil after a six-minute Leo Denver penalty goal. Stewart there, your PA man, just confirming as uh, Tony Ray turns it inside to Rosalind. Rosalind passes the ball on to substitute Borden and the Broncos now building up. They've lost possession, well, offside, that man. He's given the knock on, but the uh, Broncos man came from in front of the man that had dropped possession and picked it up. Going to scrum down with a Saints feed. Paul Newlove needs treatment. The scrum going to be formed. 10 metres outside the Saints 20. Golden feeds it. Saints move it over to the right. Carl Hammond. He has to take the tackle. Thought about releasing it. Broncos all offside in front of the referee. He allows play to go on. Once again, they move up quickly as Northy. Cunningham from acting half back. Slips the lovely ball out to Booth. Good tackling there as uh, Rosalind moves in. Inside ball, Paralini. Well, the Broncos playing the offside there. They're getting away with it. Is it Perellini? Took a knock. The ball still... Well, it's loose. It was loose. It's tidied up now by uh, Dave Evans. But early injury score for uh, Saints as Perellini takes a knock. Man, you not want to come off. We know what happened last time with Perellini. Had a job to walk, got the ball, and then didn't he pound him from about 20 metres out? He's back in the line. Perellini's tried to run it off. Shaw coming through on the run. But from the acting half-back position, turns it back. Bit of basketball there, it's Evans that has it. Now it's Rosalind. It's over there on the far side. Oh, the uh, Diniver is the man in possession. He wants to play it, he plays it quickly. Broncos move it over, McRae chips it through. No sweeper, but the ball's kicked. Touching goal, courtesy of a Saints player. Saints making no... Making no mistake here, they're... Uh, they're making a substitution. Kevin O'Loughlin coming on to replace Apollo Perellini. We know it's coming to the end of the season, but you can't afford uh, to have players 
that are injured and Apollo took some stick this season, hasn't he? <laughs> the 31 minutes on the watch, 29 on the clock, obviously with the uh, stoppage time. And Broncos have possession from the dropout. Russell Borden has the possession. Paul Perellini getting the applause from the popular side faithful as Mestrov drives it within 10 metres of the Saints line. The Broncos again, Keating. Keating brought down a metre short. Broncos are pressing. Saints defending on their own line. Langer quickly closed down. Good work by Booth there. Last one of the sequence. McRae turns it back inside. Oh, the Broncos are smothered. Going to be a turnover. Well, he's let the ball go. That's going to be the turnover. The referee must have shouted hell for the tackle. And if that ball's come out, he's obviously given the turnover. Could constitute a penalty though with the ball being thrown away. Kevin O'Loughlin with the first touch. He's lost possession on the first tackle. Broncos breaking quickly. Ray to Langer along the line to Roskill. Roskill trying to beat the defence. Nilov has him wrapped up, Cunningham in quickly, Langer drop off ball to Ross, Rosalind. Well the referee decided to penalise the Saints, holding the leg is the indication he'd give there. Should have been penalised straight away that if that was the case. Not waiting till another couple of tackles has gone. Ray, Langer along the line, Langer looking for the return pass. It's on to Borden, it's now with Ikram Butt. The Rosalind, the loose forward. Shaw, Mestrov, good tackling by the Saints. The defence is tight as Ikram Butt goes for a, a little darting run. Quickly haul back. McRae loses possession, that's an offside decision, that. Oh, the referee has let uh, play go on. Saints had the possession. Broncos all offside. Yes, and about time. About time, Mr Connolly. 34 minutes have elapsed on the clock, and he's finally spotted that the Broncos were offside. Andy Dorley, first man in as Cunningham plays it. Kevin O'Loughlin, tight all this time. 18-2 the score, 32 minutes gone on the clock. Broncos urged to line up with the referee. Bobby Golden drawing the defence in, slips it to Busby. Oh, Busby juggles with it. He bounces it down in disgust. He's disgusted with himself. The gap has, had emerged there, he was through it. He just couldn't control the ball, it bounced up, hit him on the head, bounced forward. And it's going to be a scrum down with the Bronco speed. Five minutes to the interval. Langer. Inside, ball. Scott Roskill, good run. Hulos chasing him. Higgs over there, oh, well taken. Well taken, Saints. Broncos drive it again, McRae turns the ball, Roskill again, he's, oh he's in touch, very unlucky there Roskill, deserved a try there, Broncos brought through, Roskill started it off, must have run 40 metres, excellent tackle by the Saints, three men converging on him, brought him down then the Broncos played the ball, moved it over to the left, Roskill again but he was forced into touch, right on the corner flag and Saints with Adam Feed and it's all to do to come upfield and they break quickly New Love, New Love and Saints are lining up but that's a good tackle by Butt and Rosalind comes in makes sure Carl Hammond is that from acting half back it was, it's Cunningham now from the dummy half slips it to uh, Danny Arnold Slips it out again to Prescott. New love with an injury. 
Shade Savage and the tackle looked a little high there on the far side. Nor did a man that uh, come in for a little bit of clog. And he's had some clog lately as no, he hasn't he? The two matches against Warrington, he come off bruised and battered. But he loves it, does Andy Northy. Beavers going on, replacing Paul Newlove. The Saints have the penalty. <laughs> Newlove there being cheered off. Maybe a recurrence of that uh, ankle problem that he had. Scott Gibbs breaks out of the tackle. Gibbs goes in again. Cunningham, Hammond, good ball to Beavers, well, I'm saying a good ball to Beavers, it was, it was a terrible ball to Beavers, but he took it well. Hammond, Beavers there, certainly uh, one, one club man in his stay in England. Came along with Malmeninger, as you know, 84-85 season. Longest serving member at the Saints here. In a well earned testimonial season is Phil Beavers. The Broncos come away with possession. Shaw takes it well. Dorothy meets him. But breaks away, slips a drop off ball to McCray. He's quickly dispatched to the earth, O'Loughlin and Leatham. Tony Ray, the hooker, acting halfback, turns it in field. Keatings. Keating is the man. Rosalind streaking away. Oh, is it Rosalind? No, it's Borden. I do beg your pardon. Russell Borden. Great run from the man, the substitute. Langer. Prescott makes no mistake. Langer with the uh, cut-out pass, wasn't taken to hand by the Broncos. It went to a player's foot, kicked it forward. Prescott had to turn and made no mistake, booted it into the crowd. In the dying minutes, Saints will drop it out from between the sticks. 18-2 the score. Carroll, Bernard Carroll, the left wing man. Out for a run, Carroll comes through again, taken down right on the centre of the 20 metre. Ray onto Mestroff, Mestroff again, big block busting forward within 10 metres. Langer looking for the loop movement, he gets it back, well he doesn't get it back. Who's the commentator as well? Very easy that I hear you say, Steve Rosalind. Now it's with Langer. Cut out ball McCray, short ball to Keating. Well monitored by the Saints. Superb tackling there. Langer again trying to run the show. Well, the ball knocked forward. Saints come away with it. Danny Arnold was looking for it. Simon Booth couldn't slip it out. Bobby Goldie wants a quick play of the ball. It's now with Beavers. Beavers again. Lovely ball to Cunningham. Cunningham pins his ears back. Drives up just short of the halfway. All offside of the Broncos. But Saints move it over to the right. Good work, it's with Gibbs. Gibbs out to Haig. Haig sliding through. Gibbs the dummy, Gibbs the pass. Oh, it's a try. Hammond in for his second. Picked the ball down of that. Another try for the Saints, the second for Carl Hammond. As the Saints side through the Broncos defence there. It was moved over to the uh, right right wing, taken up. Gibbs, Haig, Haig inside. Hammond was there on hand again. And he ended up finishing, touching down right under the sticks. Another six points for the Saints and 24 points to two. It's going to be when Bobby Golden popped this one over. There it goes between the uprights. And there's the half-time hooter. So 
psychologically, obviously, a great time to score. Any time's a great time to score, isn't it? But the said, uh, as you can see, going into the usual changing rooms as opposed to going under the stand. But Broncos and Saints troop off the half time score. Saints 24, Broncos 2. Broncos opened the scoring in the sixth minute with a Danny for penalty goal. Then, obviously, it was all Saints. A penalty goal for Golden in the 12th minute. Hammond with the first of his two tries in the 15th. Converted by Golden. Then a superb effort by Gibbs. Another great try from Arnold. And then Hammond finished off in good style. Right on the half time hooter. The half time score here at Rosie Road. Saints 24, Broncos 2. back out on the pitch but we uh, feature there on the Eddington stand end and I've never seen the Eddington stand so uh, I don't know what the crowd's going to be here tonight but uh, certainly isn't very many for this penultimate league game and the final league game here uh, in this centenary season at Nosy Road the Broncos come out now Once again, uh, obviously I'd like to thank uh, all the promotion department for an excellent day on Saturday. We had uh, a good day at uh, the McAlpine Stadium, obviously apart from the result. But a great, uh, a great day. Saints are going to kick off in the lead by 24 points to two. Bobby Golding ready to get us underway. Apollo out uh, in the dugout, but uh, heavily wrapped in the blanket, carrying an injury. I know he'll go back on if needed. Paul Newlove comes out, he's got ice pack there on, uh, on his injured ankle. Or he will have when he uh, gets in the dugout. Broncos in possession. Tony Ray misses one player out, slips it to Russell Borden. Tony Ray at dummy half again, takes it centre field this time. The runner this time is Mestrov. Mestrov again. Oh, slips it to Ray. Lovely play from the Broncos, but no support at the last lap. Last tackle of the sequence. Evans chips it for the corner. Will Saints play safe? They do. And a drop out from between the sticks. So the Broncos with an early start, one minute gone of the second half. And Bobby Golden will drop out from between the sticks, shows the ball. Gets some loft on it, taken by Langer, slipped inside to Mestrov. Up to the Saints, 20. The Broncos need points on the board. They trail by 22, it's 22, 24 2. Oh, they keep the ball going. That's play on. Just one pass too many there by the Broncos. And it's Prescott that came away with it. Now the Saints have the possession. Once again, the Broncos uh, move up exceedingly quickly. Dean Busby, the man in possession. Saints take it blindside. No, they there in the left centre berth as Golding chips it through. Golding gathers it. Good ball. Oh, I'm saying a good ball. He pulls up there. I think it was Danny Arnold. No, I beg your pardon. It's uh, Kevin O'Loughlin. Looks though like he just lost his footing. Say so chip it downfield again. Andy Haig in on uh, his opposite wingman, Bernard Carroll. Well, the Broncos keep it going. Good chip there by uh, Bobby Golding. Kevin O'Loughlin couldn't take it. Phil Vivas there uh, into the action there. Now it's a crumbut. Speedy wingman. <laughs> Broncos again making headway. 
midway between their own 20 and the halfway line on the main stand side of the Schnoesley Road Arena. Last tackle of the sequence. McRae puts it upfield. It's going to find touch. Yes, it does eventually. Good kick there from Duncan McRae. Excellent touch finder. Good long distance kick there. From midway in his own half. Right up to within 10 metres of the Saints line. Saints and the Broncos go up very slowly to form the scrum. Golden brings it out. No, they steams away. The tackle wasn't completed. No, they comes up again and goes for another second bite of the cherry. Andy Haig, limited touches for this lad this evening. Steve Prescott, no way through for him. One man rugby from the Saints and the spectators are getting frustrated. Broncos all offside and the spectators are still getting frustrated. Golden again, shows the ball, drives through a big hole, Hammond with him, he's looking for his hat-trick, he turns it inside, it's now back to Hammond, and Hammond to Will, will he? Does he slide over? I think he does. The referee points to the spot, and Hammond in for his third, the Saints opening try of the second half, after four minutes. Bobby Golding composes himself. Well, it looks on its way. Foot waved away. Twenty-eight two there. And this gentleman, we have a police message for a gentleman named Ken Ford. That's Ken Ford. If you please go to the police control room. Thank you. Saints will kick off. Bobby Golding. He chips it, Saints are chasing it, oh unlucky, Danny Arnold very unlucky there, oh but Saints have the possession, thought Arnold had uh, got it but obviously he didn't, and the ball coming back and Saints have the possession, tactical kicking from the restart, Kevin O'Loughlin lifted in the air and drove back, the referee shouts held, Beavers uh, juggles a bit with it, uh, certainly suspicions of a knock-on, but he gets away with it. Saints bring it right, Hammond, lofty ball to Prescott, Prescott shrugs one off, then two, pushes another, but a little bit of enthusiastic tackling there. Scott Gibbs, Scott Gibbs again within 10 metres, that's the final tackle of the sequence. I didn't notice the referee's hand up, wasn't even looking at him actually. Just getting enthralled in the game though. Seven minutes of the second half gone, 28-2 the score. And Carroll the wingman in possession. And Cunningham coming in to assist uh, Andy Haig to try and get the man to earth. The Broncos now, Tony Ray slips it inside, Russell Borden. Last one now of the Broncos, well he dropped it. Oh, the referee says there was interference, my word. Leo Deniver takes it quickly. On the last tackle and the Broncos man fumbled it. He got a penalty out of it. Oh, good break there, good driving run. Russell Borden, I think the man that has, uh, has the possession. The Broncos now have to back him up. Saints have to defend. The line's going to be tested. Mestroff drives it forward. Langer, McRae used as the foil, but Langer's over. Yes, it tries there. Good work by the little man. And the Broncos did well there. Eight minutes into the second half. The Broncos registered their first try. And it's Kevin Langer. And 
and Saints have the lead obviously 28 points to six certainly uh, a little bit of unrest in the camp and a little bit of dispirit obviously with Eric Hughes going we know Saints are not buzzing as we know they can do Cunningham, Beavers, good ball there to Busby, out to Gibbs, Gibbs down the wing, he's got Haig with him, he's supported side from Prescott, and that's four points on the way, right under the stick, superb effort, oh Prescott pushed into the horn in there, after he scored a try, well that's a class try there, a Saints reply in kind, Good work as the ball was brought away from the Saints own line, from the kickoff. Great work. It was spread to Scott Gibbs. A lovely ball to Scott Gibbs. Busby, I think, the man that gave the pass. Prescott was given the ball, and there was no mistaking that that was a four pointer all the way. Golden converted. Another six points to the Saints. Just after I was saying they looked a bit lax. They'll have to keep on saying they look a bit lax, won't I? 34-6 the score. And Saints will restart this time. Front calls are positioned. The referee ready. He gives the signal for play to start. <coughs> and Golden puts it low this time. Ikram Butt. Force back, solid tackling as the Saints move in. Fifty-one minutes gone. The Broncos trail 34-6. Drop off ball there. By Duncan McRae. On to Bob Borden. The ball now in the hands of uh, Rosalind. Steve Rosalind, the loose forward. Tony Ray, the captain, and uh, Hooker is the acting halfback. Langer, it's chipped through, it's regathered. The Broncos move it forward. Rosalind has it, it's up in the air. Leo Denver brought down short, but the referee bringing play back. It's going to be a penalty to the Broncos. That's a dead cert. If he's brought play back, obviously he let play go on to see the Broncos for, could uh, score but play brought back and Broncos with the first tackle there of a set of six Ikram Butt turns looks to release it but the tackle's solid this time Langer McCree out to Evans oh that's a tackle and a half and that's Gibbs Deniver good running Keating oh lovely play there as the way, oh, he's into touch. That super tackle, that. There's no try there. Oh, he's given the try. That's never a try in the memory of man. He took the corner flag as he was going over with Northy there in full flight. Was it Northy in full? I'm sure it was Northy that came over the final tackle. But it looked as though it was going to be a try, and in the end, it was a try. The referee gave it. Rightly or wrongly. A lovely little backflip there from uh, Duncan McRae as the Broncos brought the ball over. And as you can see there, Leo Deniver only a, a foot or so in. Deniver, oh, he gets it right this time. That's a great goal. That's a great goal by Deniver. That was a superb conversion by Leo Deniver, and the Broncos are making two substitutions now. Michael Francis is coming back on, along with uh, Justin Bryant. <laughs> and it's Roskill and... Uh, well, I don't know what he's put up there. But uh, 16 and 12 have come back on anyway. Broncos kick off, Saints have the possession. 
Looked a perfectly good tackle in the corner, but the referee ruled that the try was good. They deserved it, the Broncos, they moved up well and drove it well. Bobby Goldie running the angles, drawing the defence in. Slips it out to Northy. Danny Arnold, bit of versatility, chips it through. Couldn't regather it cleanly, he was under a lot of pressure. And Evans tries to scamper away and he's brought down on the halfway. Second row man just returning, Michael Francis. He has the possession, he's brought down. Tony Ray, he slips it on. Substitute Justin Bryant. Fresh man, driving it upfield. Darren Shaw, taken by Busby. Tony Ray slips it out, now with Mestroff. Mestroff draws the defence, gives the dummy. Tony Ray tidies it up, Broncos move it over to the far side. Bryant, now it's with Russellan. The last one of the sequence, the Broncos have the possession. It's with Duncan McRae. It's too deep. Well, I beg your pardon, it's not too deep. Looks though Andy Haig took it dead. Well, the touch judge and the referee were right on the job, and they look at each other, they come up with the decision that Andy Haig had took the ball dead. Whether he was over the line when he hit him, I don't know. We can't uh, judge from our angle, but that's uh, the decision that the referee and the near side touch judges come up with. So the Broncos get the possession and they have another set of six. Strong running, good tackling by Booth. Forward pass there, and now it's with Leo Denver. And he's sandwiched for his trouble. Oh, and good tackling there by Booth again. Justin Bryant, strong lad. He's brought down 10 metres short of the Saints line. Well, a little bit of hanky panky at the play of the ball. The captain there for the Broncos, Tony Ray, he's asking the questions. But it's a scrum down with the Saints head and feed. As Brian Capewell warms up on the touch line, maybe uh, looking to be introduced. Saints break away. Steve Prescott moves into the acting halfback position. Once again, Saints move forward. The Broncos press up. Borden with the tackle on Busby. Now it's Gibbs going cross field. Cunningham slips it out left. Saints can't break this uh, Broncos cover just yet, with 18 minutes gone. Both well, Phil Waring and uh, Brian Catewell warming up. Last one of the sequence, Golden chips it through. Floated ball, taken by Evans, and Evans is on the run. He's over the halfway line. But he's taking a knock. Good work by Langer, slips it out to Deniver. Deniver held by Andy Haig. And I say it's played out, down injured there. McCray, but it's knocked down by Gibbs. Good work by Scott Gibbs, the try saving tackle, because Bryant was on his way again. Langer instrumental in this Bronco side. So there we go, there's your subs. Francis on uh, for Keating and Bryant on for Roskill. Broncos have the feet from the scrum, Langer breaks away. Now McRae, oh, that's a great tackle. And Prescott comes up with possession, and Prescott puts the gas pedal down. He's into the Broncos half. Saints playing with 12 men. The man injured here, Dean Busby. The Saints bring it cross field. Beavers. Beavers out to Cunningham. Cunningham tried to uh, fend the man off and release it, but he wasn't able to. But still, uh, Busby's got an arm injury. And a little bit of anti punk to play the ball. And Mestrop is playing steam there. Holding is the indication. 
Kate well comes on. Brian Kate well on for the injured Dean Busby. Looks as though he's got a, an arm injury. Jeanette Smith has uh, put his jersey in him and uh, put his arm in his jersey to uh, support it. But he doesn't look in a very well way, but sends it away and it's golden. Slips the ball out. Saints keep it going 10 metres from the Broncos line. They lead by 34 points to 12. As Beavers takes it blindside. Lovely ball there. Oh, superb try. The craft of Beavers. Chuck it on the short side. That's it. Penetrate the Broncos line again. And it's Andy Northy that crashes over. He started off in the second row. And he's finished off there in the left centre position. And the try scorer for the Saints at number 11, Andy Northy. Saints restart, Langer takes it. The Broncos in possession, right on their own 20. Ikram Butt quickly closed down. Capewell moves in quickly along with Simon Booth. And Capewell again, another versatile character in the Saints emerging players come through the academy. Short ball from Langer that looked to uh, him forward from our position. Broncos put the ball deep upfield. It's not going to find touch. And Prescott will gather it. And Paul Stevens comes on to replace the fullback, Dave Evans. So obviously a reshuffle in the Broncos ranks Saints have the possession 30 metres from their own line Simon Booth he powers forward but the tackling good from the Broncos Golden shows the ball gives the dummy Saints spread it Hammond just short of the halfway last tackle of the sequence Golden puts it downfield. A little fine touch, that will. <laughs> Scrum down, 10 metres from the Broncos line. Say it's head and ball. 38-12 the score, 64 minutes gone on the clock. Not a lot of atmosphere here tonight. Maybe because of the defeating the Regal Trophy. Who knows? A great game, very competitive game. Obviously, as they say, winners, uh, there's nothing like winning and losers can please themselves, but Saints competed and were very unlucky. But you don't get out for being unlucky as the Broncos plod up. Tony Ray, taken down by Beavers. McCray trying to shape it, slips the ball out there, first touch, Paul Stevens inside to Langer, on to captain Tony Ray, and that's a great try by the Broncos, there's no danger about that. 25 minutes on the clock, Tony Ray, the captain, the hooker, took the ball up there, but great work there, up uh, this popular side uh, touchline by Paul Stevens, come on to a lovely ball, drove it up, slipped it inside to Langer, Langer there with the support of his captain Tony Ray, and he finished off uh, virtually under the sticks. So a high scoring encounter again when these two sides uh, meet tonight, obviously, in uh, 84 points as I said earlier, when the sides met down at the stoop, the home of Harlequins. So he's on about Phil Beavers before, 10, uh, well, about 12 years. He must be in his uh, 12th season at the club, Phil Beavers, in a well-earned uh, benefit season after uh, I've completed this season. That'll be 10 years of me being on your Saints video, and I've only managed to swear twice in uh, 10 years, and it's not bad for me than anybody that knows me. But I certainly uh, 
made up for it last Saturday. You asked John Stevens, the ex Saints and uh, Wigan forward that was in front of me at, at Huddersfield, and I was giving it a little bit of clog, just getting it out of my system, with us not being able to do a video with it being on uh, the BBC. So, uh, Brian Capewell breaks the advantage line, and Capewell brought down 10 metres short. Saints now with Beavers again, he moves it on the blind side, Saints move it out, can they squeeze it at the corner? The referee moves over, well the try, is the try given? No, oh, the Saints held short, it'll have to be spread out quickly. Capewell again, oh that's a super effort, he's held just short. Golden chips it for Andy Haig. Haig sat waiting, but Carroll gets the ball away, he did well there. Haig gives the sign to Bobby Golden, he said, I'm over here, there's nobody over here, get the ball, kicked across, he did. But Bernard Carroll did well. Andy Northey from the restart, from the dropout. 30 metres out, Saints hungry, looking for more. They're in the lead by 20 points, it's 38-18 at present. With 12 minutes of the game remaining, plus any stoppage time the referee has to add on. Carl Hammond, the scorer of three. Taken down, just on the 20, goal in again. Taking the game by the scruff of the neck, slips it inside, Steve Prescott. Prescott and Golden work so well. Well, everybody works well with Golden, don't they? The informed man, well, a flop there as Borden comes in. Last one of the sequence, Bobby Golden, cut out ball, Gibbs, lovely hands to Haig. Oh, and Haig showed his determination. He put his shoulder down, he would open, and Langer there couldn't stop him. That's a great try on the last tackle, isn't it? Especially with the upheaval and the wrangling that's gone on in the club this evening. But these lads, they are professional. They've got to get on with the job, things happen. Changes can happen at any time. <coughs> and at the end of the day you've got to get on with it unfortunately it's the coaches that catch the uh, all the flack I suppose they're in that position same as the football managers and that they're usually the casualties but at the end of the day the coach gives his instructions he teaches his players uh, or he coaches his players in what he wants them to do once they get out uh, the dressing room and onto the uh, park it's up to them to do it and if they don't uh, come up with the goods, as I say, it's the coach that gets the hammer. But Broncos keep it going, the pass that have been forward, Gibbs comes up with it, well it's going to be the first knock on, isn't it? He's going to bring it back, Broncos knocked it forward, McRae knocked it forward, Scott Gibbs couldn't gather it, scrum down, Saints head and ball, goal into feed, 10 minutes to go, and 42-18 the score. And here endeth the first lesson. Blind side, Beavers, out to Golden, slips it to Haig. The pass looks suspicious, but Saints got away with it, Golden. Comes off the legs of Hammond, Hammond again, slips it back. A little untidy by the Saints, but it's Kevin O'Loughlin that has it. Phil Wurden still looking to be introduced. Will he get a run out in the last eight minutes or so? Broncos move up quickly, Saint second blind side, Cunningham saw the gap, well he loses possession and the Broncos come up with it, they break quickly, good run there, Borden again, slips it out to Butt and he's quickly wrapped up. Kevin O'Loughlin coming back and uh, wrapping Butt up, second row man, Francis, Michael Francis run well, slips out now to Mestroff, Good yardage made by the Broncos. Tony Ray on to Darren Shaw. 
Support there, but it's Ray bringing it blindside. Duncan McCree. Inside ball. The Broncos do the well. Fancy stuff. The referee brings it back, even though uh, Saints had played on. But the referee's ruling the knock on initially. He didn't allow play to go on, even though Saints had uh, kicked the ball through. A blood bin substitution now, I think, as the referee reaches for his pocket. Yes, he uh, puts the green card up, and it's Langer that's going to come off. They have 15 minutes to patch him up. The only problem is we only have seven minutes left to play, so it won't make any difference. So Mark Riley, who hasn't come on, and Broncos can't make another full substitution. But Riley comes on for uh, Kevin Langer as a blood bin. Saints comfortably in the lead at 42.18 with time running uh, out for the Broncos. Only six minutes remaining. Saints keep the ball alive. Andy Leatham. Good work by the Saints and uh, the ball kept alive. Golden slips it inside. Once again, well, it's gone back. It's going to be brought back for the Saints knocking the ball forward. Tip for tat, it happened at the other end just a, a minute or so earlier. The referee didn't allow the, the advantage to play on, even though Broncos had played it and it came back to Saints. Well, Andy Nordy, man of the match, he runs hard, does Nordy, wherever he plays. Hammond has three tries on the board, but Nordy, his enthusiasm is second to none. Nordy the chest they call him you watch him when he runs he uh, he certainly runs uh, very powerfully nice to see Tommy Martin at half time doing the bomb with the kids he's only going to be ready for the Super League along with Alan Hunt they've both been out for the full season of this centenary season and let's hope the others uh, get back to full fitness again away at Halifax on Sunday and then a difficult tie the following Saturday in the first round of the Challenge Cup Uncle Morris holding them square balls again in the bag to make sure that uh, Saints had a difficult tie only kidding Morris honest a knock on there clearly visible but the referee took his time to uh, make his decision looked at the touch judge on the main stand side but yes, they say it's uh, given uh, the tie of the round away at Castleford. Let's hope the Saints can still have the motivation, especially with the internal wranglings. Gibbs on to Haig, well tackled by Carroll. Denver in as well. Prescott from acting half, unloads it. Bobby Golden takes it as Vibers was coming in. Oh, on to Nordy. Nordy again. Powers out. Nordy! Watch him go! And a great try. A second try to Andy Nordy. He's been named man of the match. He sticks his chest out with pride. And that's a try and a half, isn't it? 45 yards of blistering pace. Super work by Andy Norley. Yes, the man of the match, and isn't he proud of it as well? Substitute for Saturday's final. And when Sullivan got hurt, Norley came on and he played well. Some blockbusting runs down the wing. Strikes it well. Yes, the touch judges raised the flag. The supporters like it. It's another two points to the Saints. 48-18. Let's see if we can get the 50 up. We scored 50 down in the capital with the Londoners. The Broncos replying with 34. 48-18 the score. 
and two minutes remaining. The search restart. The ball knocked back. And Broncos gather it. With Tate putting plenty of pressure on. Danny Arnold going down the far side. Saints walking wounded, uh, troop off the, the game in the uh, dying minutes. Dean Busby, Apollo Pedalini, Paul Newlove. But the ball's loose to Saints have it, Danny Arnold. Saints looking for the 50, Golden, cut out ball there. Taken by Steve Prescott. Good tackling there. Mark Riley. Cunningham inside to Gibbs, 30 metres out. Once again, the, the PA thanking the supporters as uh, as they should. The supporters that so obviously get behind the club. Golden again, going cross field, creates the gap, slips it out. Still on the 20. The ball been knocked forward, the uh, referee says. A poor attendance tonight. I don't know whether it's been flashed up on the scoreboard, but uh, lots of open spaces. Well, they don't know what they've missed, do they? 48-18 the score. 40 minutes on the scoreboard. I've got about uh, 20 seconds left, but Broncos have the possession. 48-18 the score. Shaw, the ball spread out, turned inside. Rosalind. And there's the final hooter, bang on the 40. Great display by the Saints, handshakes all round as the Saints players make their way into the dressing room. 24 points to two at half time, and the Broncos come into it a bit in the second half. Saints up the scoring in the fourth minute with the Carl Hammond try. Langer scored the Broncos' first try four minutes later. Then Prescott and Carroll exchanged tries within the space of three minutes. The first of all, these two came on the 21st minute. Then a lovely try from the captain, Ray, converted by Deliver. Tries from Hagen, no, they finished it off. So the final score here at the final match of the 17 season here at Rosie Road. This is Terence 48, Broncos 18. We have a little uh, game at Thrum Hall on Sunday, an away match, the final and match of the season. The Thanks for joining us. You've been with Mike from Video. My name's Ron Hoop. Join us at Halifax on Sunday for the final match of the season. Saints moving up into third position and obviously looking to consolidate that position with a four-pointer at Thrum Hall. Whoever wins the takes the third uh, spot. Thanks for joining us. As I said once again, you've been with Mike Ron. See you soon. Harrison. Now we see Fox again. What a worker this little fella is. Rachel taking the ball just over the 20.